Hello there, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. So, I have a surprise. It does actually have to do with the fact I'm in this loud echoey room at the moment, so again apologising right now for the bad audio quality. But this is my second art studio, that's not the surprise, but this is my second art studio. Some of you may know that if you watched my original video from like six months ago where I announced that I had a new art studio, I showed around it a little bit and then I showed myself sitting on the floor of this art studio and I was basically explaining that I couldn't really tell you what this room was for, but I would be using it very soon. But today I can officially reveal its purpose. I am so unbelievably excited. This is my second filming room. I'm joking, that's not what it is. Jokes aside, I have been working on this now for probably about a year. Um, the main thing of this project I've been working on since January, but before then I'd kind of already been planning it. So the big surprise is I am officially starting my own brand. already follow me on Instagram and follow the page like to tell me what they think the name is gonna be take a guess comments down below let me know okay that's fine artistic bear co this is my brand new brand new brand name brand I'm officially opening my own creative store this is not going to be a Chloe Rose art brand thing totally different from that and basically this online store is going to be selling a bunch of products that are suited to artists and people in general so basically the thing i've been leaving most breadcrumbs about throughout this past year and what i'm most excited for is the fact that i'm actually going to be releasing my own line of paint brushes i'm so excited for this because this is like so like I've been doing this all myself and it's taken a lot of time. I've been working on it since January. I've actually secretly been like checking brushes, trying brushes of different shapes, different sizes, different synthetics. So I'm gonna quickly show you a preview of one of my brushes. This actually does not have the correct synthetic in it because this was just, again, another prototype for this, the design of it. But essentially this right here is how the brush set is going to look. I'm trying to get a decent visual of the actual color of this but this is a really beautiful muted mint um, I've never seen a paintbrush in this color before so I'm very excited for that ignore this synthetic though and this ignore this size shape and everything this is only just like a prototype this is not what this is gonna look like um, whatsoever I've actually on the screen here right now these are actually gonna be the paintbrushes of the set um, but they're actually gonna be the smallest one you can see is actually gonna be even smaller and more of a detail brush um, they're all gonna be mint like this so you've got the mint handle and then you have the black ferrule here which is basically the black metal and it's going to be crimped it's going to have the artistic bear um, logo imprinted on the side there as well but yeah this is the first prototype of the brush minus the synthetic because this is horrible i'm not using that one these paint brushes are going to be made in the usa and again because of my eco-friendly pledge on my brand. The wood is actually sourced from managed national wood reforestation programs. Also for every sale of this paintbrush set, I will be planting a tree. So I'm really excited about that as well. I just feel like the best brush set would be, an art, be a brush set by an artist for an artist, not like a big corporation that's threw together like a brush set because I feel, I feel like every time I go into an art store, I find a brush set and it's never got everything that I want in it. It's like, I don't want all square brushes. I don't want all filbert brushes. I want a range of brushes that are bigger and smaller and no one ever seems to do that exact type of art brush thing. I'm so excited for this. There's actually gonna be a set of six. It's just gonna basically be all of my favorite paint brushes. So we're gonna have like filbert, oval, we're gonna have kind of detail brushes. There's gonna be six in there basically because I felt this was the perfect amount to make a piece of artwork. I just, I, I really love this paintbrush set and I wish I could show it to you, but it's not available just yet, um, which is why I recommend you head over to the Artistic Bear Co. Instagram page, because this is where all of the best, biggest updates are gonna be. I'm also gonna be doing giveaways for the products, for the paintbrushes and things like that. And I'm hoping to get it to 10,000 followers so I can at least get the like, little swipe up clicky links on the story. So if you wanna go follow that, I would really, really appreciate it. It's also, again, where you can keep most up to date 
but if you don't have an Instagram, head over to artisticbearco.com and you can sign up for the newsletter there to get emails about updates and things like that. So I'm also gonna be releasing some pencil cases. This is what it's gonna look like. Obviously, it's not gonna be plain white like this. What I really like about it is it's so high quality. It's very, very thick. It's kind of like a canvas style material. It's obviously not gonna be plain white. We're gonna be putting a design on this, um, which I'm actually making right now, but it's just really thick. It has a very good zip. And I like inside that it also has a lining as well. Like a lot of these usually don't have the sort of separate lining, which this does. I'll probably do some with my actual artwork on them, but also some that are just sort of more fun, quirky things. So in this corner, as you can see, I have a huge stack of glass mugs. Um, this is not all of them. This is just some I've put out. I actually have some white mugs as well, but I really wanted to find the perfect glass mugs that I could use to sublimate some cool designs onto. Now, I always would take my parents' glasses, my parents' mugs, and use them for water cups whenever I was painting, because I would just like would either use something that was reusable, like plastic, or then I'd go to using mugs or glasses, but I wanted something really, really fun. This is actually gonna be a paint water mug, so it's gonna say paint water on it. These glasses right here can be used either as a drinking mug, or they can be used as a actual paint mug. So yeah, these aren't gonna be plain, Again, these are going to have a design on them, but this is how the base of it looks. And you can use it as a mug or you can use it as your paint water mug. It's up to you. Again, final design will be on artisticbearco.com. I know I'm really like hounding this, but that, that's where you'll see all of the official finished products. I also have things like this, which is a stamp that I can use to kind of brand packaging and letters and things like that. This is actually from a brand that uses soy-based ink. So basically when it biodegrades, there's no petroleum left over. So everything that I've got is honestly as eco-conscious and eco-friendly as I could make it. So this is how it's gonna look on like packaging and stuff. I also have some paper tape, so we're not gonna be using regular tape to shut the packages. We're actually gonna be using special branded Artistic Bear Co. Um, tape that looks somewhat like this. Kind of like the Amazon tape you get on the Amazon Prime boxes. It's gonna be like that, so paper-based water adhesive tape. So as you walk in, there is some mess here because I've not actually put this away yet. I need to organize it. We're gonna focus on this stuff. Basically, I knew that if I was gonna be working with my own products and dealing with the business side of things, I wanted a really, really large desk. Um, something that looks somewhat like it's built in without being built in because I didn't wanna spend thousands of dollars on a desk. Usually carpentry and stuff like that, especially in these days where wood is pretty expensive, having some built Built-in cabinets and like a built-in countertop would cost thousands of dollars, but I didn't want to spend that. So me being the bargain seeker that I am, I actually designed this whole thing myself. So this right here is actually a giant butcher block from Home Depot. Uh, this is actually what a lot of people tend to use for their countertops, it's solid wood. And then I have these units right here. These units are beautiful, these are wood. They're actually from Pottery Barn, and if any of you have been to Pottery Barn before, you know it's expensive. So you're probably like, Chloe, you probably spent thousands on these. I didn't, these are like 200 bucks. Glass doors with shelves, 200 bucks. Now I'm not a fan of the color of it. I'll most likely end up painting it at some point, but basically what I did was, I looked on the clearance section. They had these units on clearance without tops. Like these do not have tops because there's something supposed to go on it. So obviously people don't buy them because they're like, well, they're not selling the top of it. So what am I supposed to do with that? I measured it all out and I got a butcher block to go just sit on top of it. Perfect fit. Um, it just looks really, really nice. I also have, in this corner, I actually also have two smaller units. It's very dark. I'm not sure why it's just gotten really dark all of a sudden. So in here, we've got shelves and things like that. And again, the butcher block just sort of sits on top of it. And over here, we have our last one. This is going to be probably where I'm going to be keeping a lot of packaging materials. Like right now, all of this stuff right here, this is just my eco-friendly packaging, all of my clear mugs. I have my new Cricut mug maker thing up there. I have my other Cricut, and I obviously need some more shelves for over here when I get the, the other products in. But for now, the shelves are somewhat empty because everything hasn't arrived yet, but this is 
this is how this looks. So basically I have this printer here, which is a sublimation printer. You can use a different printer, you just have to convert it to a sublimation printer, but I just got this one to make it easy. I also have some sublimation inks, which you obviously put into the printer, and then you have some special heat transfer paper that the special ink goes onto. You then attach it to the surface of the product that you are making. And then I have this really cool heat press here. This is literally so fun. I like just like, I don't know why, I'm just like obsessed with opening it and shutting it. But basically, once you've attached the paper and the special ink to the product, you put it on the surface like this with something in between, obviously protecting it. Then you put down the heat press and then when you take it off, it's perfect. The design is transferred to this. It's not like vinyl. So this side right here um, is gonna mostly be the surface that I work from. So I'm probably gonna do a lot of the artwork here. I have my Cintiq over here. Even though I mostly use my iPad these days for things, sometimes you really, really just need a Cintiq and Photoshop. This is currently the design of the washi tape that I'm working on. This is just gonna be kind of fun and artsy. Um, I have like, Obviously the bears, we're gonna, I'm gonna do three bears. I have like the grizzly bear, I have the panda bear, and then I'm gonna do one of a polar bear. Basically all surrounded by different like paint illustrations and things like that. I feel like they'll be quite cute on one of these pencil cases too, this design. I don't know, let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see that or not on a pencil case, but I'm still undecided. I'm working on so many things and I know this announcement's kind of coming a bit early before I've actually got like solid things to show you, but this is what I'm working on. This will definitely be washi tape, maybe even a pouch. I'll see how they come out. I'll experiment a little bit. I also made this for you digital artists out there. Um, I might put this on a t-shirt maybe, maybe like embroidered onto a t-shirt or something. I don't know. I was, I just, I personally, as someone that did digital art for many years, I think this is quite funny. If you don't do digital art, it might not make sense, but I thought it was fun. <laughs> I also have this, which I want to make into a sticker at some point. It's basically like a nutritional fax, but for artists. I feel like he would be quite good on the pencil case too. Honestly, this was one of my most popular sticker designs that I made and I'm quite curious how it would look on one of these pouches as well. So again, in the comments, let me know what you would actually prefer to see. So my white mugs have actually just arrived now, so I'm gonna go and get those and put them on my shelf. I do plan on having things like hoodies and t-shirts and a bunch of other things. And if you do have suggestions of anything, by the way, you would like to see from the brand, feel free to let me know in the comment down below. Um, but basically, I'm gonna be selling things like washi tape, and I'm not sure if that's gonna be available in the initial launch or not. I spent a while trying to find a decent manufacturer that wouldn't put the washi tape in those heat sealed like plastic protectors that you, you peel off, which, it's not a lot of plastic, but it kind of goes against everything that my store is about. So I found one that would gladly not use the heat sealed plastic on them. So it may seem strange, we do seem receive washi tape that doesn't have that on it, but the reason it doesn't is because we're trying to be eco-friendly. Eco-friendly is where it's at. So here are all the mugs. Um, I do have special packaging that I'm gonna be using, which is a mixture of cardboard and paper instead of using bubble wrap when I ship these off to you all. By the way, this stuff is gonna be shipping worldwide, but with the whole UK VAT thing that are like weird with the tax situation, I may, if it's not sorted out by then, just have anyone from kind of the UK purchase things through Etsy because they sort all the tax stuff out. Um, but for everyone else, purchasing through the website should be completely fine. Okay, so here's a bunch of mugs laid out. Again, this isn't all of them. I still have some clear ones coming, but this is just a handful of the mugs we have. So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much, all of you, for 
your support. It genuinely means so much to me, whether you watch a video every week or you watch every so often, or heck, you just clicked on it. I do really appreciate your support because this would not even be a possibility for me. And I really hope that it's something that a lot of you enjoy when I'm able to actually do the launch. I'm really excited to see how it goes. Um, and I would, of course, love any feedback any of you have, whether you want to send me a message down below, send me an Instagram message, or even if you want to send to my business email to give me some feedback or maybe even some product suggestions, I would love to hear that too. But yeah, thank you so much again for allowing this to be a possibility for me. I can't wait to release it sometime in November, most likely around the 15th, not 100%. It depends on the brushes. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video.